So if you have a vehicle and you think you have a bad idle air control valve, I thought I'd go over the symptoms of a bad idle air control valve and how you go about fixing it. And so first of all, what is an idle air control valve? Well, vehicles that have fuel injection have what's called a throttle body that all the air flows through to go into the engine. And there's a butterfly plate that sits right inside the center of it. And as the gas pedals press, this opens up. And as it does open it up, it'll let more air in so that the engine has the correct airflow going in. But when the gas pedal is let go of, this throttle body plate's going to close and it's going to shut. And then the vehicle's computer is going to take over to keep the right airflow going into the engine. And the computer is going to use what's called an idle air control valve to control the idle. And basically when the throttle body butterfly plate is shut, there's two holes on each side of the plate. And the computer will be controlling a small diaphragm inside of here that will open and shut, depending on the RPMs of the engine. And as it does this, air can bypass that throttle body plate and the computer can control the idle of the engine. So basically that idle air control valve is just bypassing that throttle body plate and just letting air into the engine, which is controlled by the computer. One thing to mention is that not all vehicles have an idle air control valve. Many newer vehicles use an electronic throttle body, which basically means that the computer is controlling that butterfly plate that's inside of there directly. It doesn't need to bypass it. It's just controlling that plate to let in the right amount of airflow. So that is something to keep in mind since many newer vehicles don't have an idle air control valve. And so what are going to be some symptoms of a bad idle air control valve? Well, the main symptom is going to be that the idle speed is just going to be erratic. It might be too high, it might be too low, and the engine's stalling out or something along these lines. But as soon as you press on the gas pedal, the engine starts running good. And this is because the idle air control valve is no longer being used. That throttle body plate is going to open up as you press on the gas pedal and that idle air control valve is going to be no longer being used. So for example, if you start up your car and the idle's too low, it's around 400, 500 RPMs and it stalls out sometimes. But as soon as you step on the gas, it starts running good. That's a symptom of a bad idle air control valve. The idle speed might also be too high, but as soon as you step on the gas pedal, the engine starts running good. That's a symptom of a bad idle air control valve. Another symptom is that you're going to get error codes. The engine light might come on and you'll get an error code between P0505 and P0509. For example, if you use a scan tool and you scan the vehicle's computer and you get a P0505 code, idle control system, then there's an issue with that idle air control valve. And so what do you do if you think you have a bad idle air control valve and how can you go about fixing it? Well, one thing to keep in mind with this is that if there's any kind of intake air leak or vacuum leak around the top of the engine, this can allow air into the engine, which will bypass the throttle body and that can cause the same symptoms as a bad idle air control valve. So that is something to keep in mind. A very common fix is that you could just clean it up. You can use like throttle body cleaner and you could clean up the whole throttle body and the idle air control valve and everything. And quite often this will help fix the issue, especially if you look inside that throttle body and it looks really dirty and it's got a lot of carbon buildup on it. Then for sure it's a good idea to clean it up and to clean up that idle air control valve. You get the throttle body cleaner and you get like a rag and a little small toothbrush or something like that and you can clean it up real good. And that's a very common fix that quite often works, especially when they have a lot of carbon buildup. One thing to mention is that if you do clean up the throttle body with that cleaner when you first go to start the engine it's going to run badly because all that cleaner needs to be burnt off so the engine very likely is going to run rough for like two to three minutes until all that cleaner is burnt away but then it should run better and there shouldn't be any symptoms after that and so that's basically it i just wanted to go over the symptoms of a bad idle air control valve and what you could do about it if you think it is bad if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day